Hey guys, um, I just installed the tire rack and uh, I guess I thought I'd do a video because maybe if you're thinking about doing something like this, uh, this will give you some ideas. Um, this is a wing on like a like a barn structure and I built two um, tire racks 10 feet long and uh, got several tires in here. Um, it came out good, they're nice and st solid. And I made these out of 5 8 uh, rebar and I welded them. Um, you know, stacked on top of each other by themselves. Five eighths is a, is a little too springy. I don't didn't think it was going to work, so I went ahead and welded kind of like a double bar system here, and then I put a little truss um, kind of system. This is half inch rebar, um, half inch or five eighths. I don't remember which to to make kind of this little truss on here to give it some really good support. Um, and then back in the back, I made kind of a double bar there because I had to keep the tires off the wall. And then it's just um, chained up to uh, um, to the stud, the wall stud up there. Um, and then I just put a ledger on the back wall. You can see like a 2x4 nailed to the back wall. And then there's a little metal plate um, screwed over the top of the thing so that if you bump it real hard or something it doesn't fall down. Anyhow, um, it's pretty good. It's really stout. I hung from it from the top one. I grabbed on and hung from it, and uh, there's no doubt that it's going to hold these tires awesomely. Um, some labor, you know, half day, but material was really cheap. All of it cost about 150 bucks. So I think that was kind of the the you know, bright side of, of all this. Metal's expensive. Rebar's not that bad. 12 bucks for a uh, 20 foot stick. So. Got about 150 bucks in material and some labor. There you go. Thanks for watching.